Now that we have the pad set up, what, uh, since they're brand new, what we want to do is check to make sure each one of them is functioning correctly. How we do that is we start at the Pump It Up Pro screen. I have the volume turned down and I'm using my remote control. I'm going to use the green down arrow to go to service menu. Whoops, if it does that, just hit the red button again. Uh, that means it was trying to go into demo mode. Going to go down to service menu and I'm going to hit red, enter. Here's service menu. Have all these options and we'll talk about the rest of them later. But right now we're going to go down to diagnostics. Diagnostics, you're going to hit red. What it does is it shows the pads. It shows IP address, MAC address, serial number, revision number. This is R14. That's our, um, our latest version. If you have anything other than R14, you're going to need to put in a new version. Um, that's an easy thing to do. And what we do is we send software versions out through email. You put them on a thumb drive, and then you come to the screen and uh, insert the thumb drive into the computer, and it automatically boots up. License pads. This system is only licensed for eight, so you can only have eight pads here. If they want more pads, um, they'd have to buy more license. Um, so you can see there's uh, the number of pads. Some of them, two, five, are not on. Um, they're probably sleeping right now. Either that or their batteries are run out. It's easy to check. We'll just go over and step on them. Uh, one, six, three, seven, four, and eight are looking good. Uh, the plus signs show you how strong the signal is. Um, those should be steady. I see a few of them wavering there. Um, sometimes if you put the pads way far away or if the antenna isn't set right, you'll see that. The battery symbol should be full, green, yellow, and red. Um, I believe the green and the yellow goes away first, so if you see red, that means the battery is running out. There's uh, 900 hours on these batteries, and since the pads do turn themselves off, you will uh, have no problem uh, with the batteries at first. Um, and what we're going to do is step on the pads to check and see um, which one works. Right now, I am going to go step on the pads and show you how that works. The first pad I'm going to try out is pad number three. I have it right next to me. I'm going to go step over there and I'm going to step on the top left, top right, middle, back left, back right, just to make sure they light up. Right now I'm going over there to do that. Middle, top left. Top right, back left, back right. Then I'll step on them at the same time. Make sure they work. Make sure they go on and off. Make sure the battery signal is strong and the plus signal is strong. So pad number three looks great. Next pad, eight. Left, right, back, right, middle. Good. So you go through each pad like that. Um, every pad and check to see if every one of them works. If you do step on a pad and the light either does not light up or it stays on after you've stepped off or it's intermittent or you step on two of them and only one goes on, then there's a problem. Um, what you could do is stomp on them a lot. Sometimes there's some dirt under there that keeps it from connecting. All it does is when you step on the top it shorts out to the bottom plate and makes a connection. Um, more than likely it's a wire though and what we've been doing is sending those pads back and resending out another pad. Uh, you'll have to call tech service and ask okay, them to do after I've checked all the pads I'd make sure they're all working. I'm going to exit the diagnostics mode. I'm going to press the red button start to exit. It takes me back to coin options. I'm going to hit the yellow button to get down to exit. Sometimes the remote control skips like that. Uh, that's something we're working on fixing. Um, just have to be really um, easy with it. I get on exit and then I press the red button. Now I'm out of there. I'm back to the screen. Now I can choose normal playlist or workout mode and I can go on with my training. Uh, the next thing we're going to do first though is to look at the LCDs on the pad to make sure that they're all Now that we've correctly. used the service menu, went to diagnostics to check to make sure all the steps work on each pad, we want to check the, the LCD. Um, right here, this is called the foot button. And here's your LCD right here. When you press this foot button, it will scroll between all your options. We have calories, score, time, steps, pad ID, and back to calories. Um, if you don't have the server on while you're pushing the foot button, 
it will just go one at a time and then it will automatically go off. So I have the server on right now, so it's reading. You can see up here in the corner that there's a little um, tower, like a, a wireless signal. That means the wireless signal is working. Also, you can see the battery. We want to make sure the battery thing is full. We want to go to time, and uh, since this was, has been played on, it has a minute 31 on it. Um, usually when they're not played on, they'll have zero, zero, zero. You want to make sure every single digit works. Sometimes one of them will be out, just like on a sport wall display board. Uh, that would be cause to replace this unit in back here. But you want to make sure the foot button works. Uh, you want to make sure it doesn't slide under the pad or is too loose or too tight. So this pad seems to work really good.